So I'm watching the movie Soul right now, and all I'm gonna say is that I highly recommend. <laughs> Ooh, just two days ago, I was crying over Luca. Now I'm crying over Soul. Like at Disney, Pixar, I can't. Y'all can't keep doing this to me. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I'm gonna finish. I got like 20 minutes left. Um, wow. <sighs> there doesn't always have to be a purpose. I realize I'm problematic myself. I always felt like there needed to be a purpose, some goal, something to. I know life and just vibing and jazzing and stuff, but ah, oh, but I feel like there is balance because at the end of the day, you have to have some type of purpose to survive and you know not let life be miserable. But also, don't forget to actually live while you're at it. Let me finish this movie and I'll talk to you. I'll just um, let's, oh oh gosh. I'm about to go outside tomorrow. <laughs> I've been in the house for a while. I'm gonna go outside tomorrow. What's up, y'all? I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I've been in a very weird headspace lately. Like, I can feel it. I can feel it. I can feel my depression on me like a heavy ass cloak like somebody just took a weighted blanket and threw it over my head and then I also feel jittery I'm gonna say it's safe to assume that's the anxiety <laughs> so they're just like going head and head or maybe they're working together against me they're conspiring against me but oh, mm, mm, I've been in such a weird headspace so I haven't been out the house in a couple days I'm about to leave now I'm about to actually force myself to get out the house I don't know if it's that I wanted my own home so bad and now that I'm here I'm like I'm gonna just sit here and I'm gonna sit here I've been watching Disney movies I am currently binging Deara Taylor if y'all don't know who she is you're probably not on YouTube at all <laughs> but she actually inspired me today and that's why I realized like I think I'm in the art to inspire as well like I just want to live my life how I live it but I, I do want to you know I don't want to influence I'd rather inspire because I was sitting here just and I was watching her Thailand vlogs and I was just like yo that's you like obviously we're two different people we're our own people but just seeing her travel and the biggest smile on her face skin glowing mental health doing good having her own like that I was saying I was like Bitch, get up you got work to do I'd be so torn, but then I just watched Soul the other day and it's like, relax, live life, vibe. It's like, you gotta learn how to do it all without putting that pressure on yourself. So I just got inspired and I realized like I was traveling, but I just wasn't good at vlogging it. Your girl has been places. Like I took myself to Tokyo. I've been to Rio for Carnival. I was ice skating in Rome, drinking vodka. I was, I've seen some adventures. I've been all over. So I realized I would love to redo all of those things on the travel channel or maybe like a behind the scenes vlog here on the spam channel. But I was like, you're not gonna do that if you're sitting here feeling weird. And it's like, I want home on one hand, like, you know, money only goes so far. Your girl ain't banking like that. But on one hand, I'm like, oh, I want to decorate the whole living room and have my family members over and my dude's family over. And I want to make cute baskets for everybody because special occasions are coming up. On the other hand, I'm like, I'm about to put all my stuff in storage and just go live in like whatever foreign country for a couple months. <laughs> but I know that's not a stable decision, but that doesn't mean I still can't make it. And I'm not the only one who lives here. I see people are making very bold life choices and that's just the way it has to be, okay? That's all I'm gonna say. I just, I like seeing people live bold and choose whatever path they think they need to take. And this is why I say I don't want to influence people because I don't want what I'm doing to make people do it too because they think that's gonna make them happy or they think that's what they want. I want to inspire so that whatever I'm doing in my journey, as I'm watching other people now, whatever I'm doing in my journey, maybe inspires people to go on their own it does not need to be copy and paste of mine it's whatever you want to do in this life that makes you happy wow that kind of just that just changed my whole mood that's crazy it was me like waking myself up sometimes you just have to be self-aware and that's why i like coming to the camera because sometimes i know i'll be running my mouth 
<laughs> sometimes I be running my mouth, but it helps me reflect and be self aware too, because I'm not perfect. I be trying to tell y'all that nobody's perfect. Anyways, what was I saying? I I've been torn between like, oh, I'm just gonna up and move across to some foreign city or no i'm gonna stay home and settle and appreciate what i have here you can do both and you can do all of it so for me i've been working a lot harder i have been clocking hours i've been doing my shows i've been on live but i realized like just a couple things i had to come to terms with <laughs> i want people to know that it's okay if you have good things happening in your life and you still experience depression, that is depression. Like I've had clients come into me talking about their lives and whether they still want to live it. I've had people come into me, you know, saying, hey, you put a smile on my face today. Thank you. I appreciate it because I wasn't feeling too well. Like people need to understand you can have everything in the world and still have depression like that is mental of course it's easier when your money's up when you got the things you want when you are happier you have access to the things you need of course you may not be as depressed that's understandable because your depression can be worse when your finances are worse your living situation whether you have access to the things you need whether you're able to survive and get basic necessities like Hello, um, yeah, you're going to be happier when you don't have to worry about the basic survival part of life. But that being said, you can still be thriving and have depression. So I just wanted to say that real quick because like some people have this like, oh, I feel bad. Like, I don't even know why I'm sad or why. It's the head. It's the head. It's the mental blocks. It's the obstructions. It's the chemicals. It's whatever the fuck's going on up there. <laughs> so sometimes you just have to realize like, hey, my feelings are valid. Okay. Second of all, I realized that with my relationship, um, my partner has put in a lot of work and I'm going to try to speak more love into them. We did get into it before he left because he went off to training and he had some financial obligations that he wasn't able to adhere to, which made me have to work harder, which I didn't appreciate because I was stressed out already. I'm trying to save and manage my stuff in the and the third and budget. And I thought they were just goofing off to who knows maybe they were maybe they weren't i had left them with the resources they need to succeed while i was on vacation and i came back to a lot of stress that being said my partner has gone and up and done what they think they need to do and they're about their bag it looks like they're about their bag they're doing things that are outside their comfort zone they're trying new things and i'm just so proud of them seriously like i just oh man and since he's been gone i realized that one i was cool uh, it was, ugh, i'm not gonna talk about it too much since he's been gone i have been comfortable living alone but i also realized that i'ma say it, i don't want to be lonely and it's so wild because i was so used to being on my own for so long i've been traveling since i was 15 europe south america asia like places within the united states i have been traveling since i was 15 years old people were coming back to school and i was coming back from amsterdam okay like so it's crazy because i was so used to just going by myself and i just i thank the universe for keeping me safe and whatever street smarts aided in the way like i thank myself for just being here and happy and healthy but i realized that i got spoiled with what love looks like and I, i'm in it i'm in it i'm in it so that being said you know me and my partner was going through it because i just didn't appreciate it i felt like they was goofing off same friends i'd be like hey watch your back because you know they're gonna smoke and play the game with you till you 80 like you know saying be careful he's being a leader and he's stepping up and going to do what he needs to do and i'm just so proud of him and i do miss him and yeah yeah, but it's not, I don't rely on him, which is what I love too. Like, I went the first week or so kind of just like, all right, he's gone. And I think me being annoyed about the financial situation probably played a role. And then afterwards, I was like, nah, he cool. He cool people. It's like, that is my bestie on the low. Bestie in love with him. So I would like to get him his first passport as a birthday present because I'm try. like, I just want to see his face. I want to show him the world. I've seen parts of it and I'm going to continue to explore. I think that's another thing. I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm being greedy. I am so curious about discovering the world. There's so much to see that I do really wish I was just fully in my bag already to the point where I just had so much money. I could hop to a different country every month. Because I think I would, at least for a little bit. Like, I want to go on a 50 states road trip slash flights or whatever. I want to go to all the festivals. I want to see all the countries, all the cities. Like, 
I'm hard to pin down. I'm really hard to pin down. And so I think some of the anxiety is coming from, okay, you need to stay home and make money. And I had a friend tell me, they're like, you're on your phone and you're talking to people and you're talking through screens all day. And I'm like, yeah, that's not me. I think that's where some of the anxiety is coming from. I am an outside type of person. And yeah, I'll take myself out. I'm taking myself out this week for dinner and I'm trying some new experience and I'm picking up on these lifestyle vlogs, which is why we're here right now. But I, I also realized that I, I just, I'm an up and go type of person. And I realized now I kind of do want my person by my side when I do that, or at least just my people, <laughs> um, be they friends or my partner. I'm getting off track, but I've also had this anxiety from, it's so wild. <laughs> I gained some financial freedom, not all, but some, and I've gained the freedom to have my entire 24 hour day to myself. And now I'm just like, at any moment, there are so many things I could be doing. I'm like, I go write, I can go edit a YouTube video, I could go post on that one, I could go live in cam, I could call a friend, I could go over here, I could start a new project, I can do this one thing I said I was gonna do months ago and never did, I can, like, there are so many directions I feel my mind pulling in. I saw this notebook in the story the other day, it's like my brain has too many tabs open. That one, <laughs> I just want to get to a place of peace because constantly my brain's like, did you, and the, but what, the, but, and what about, the, the, oh, eat today? I'm about to go pick up some like slight groceries and go to the gym. We're going to keep today simple, okay? Because I my fridge is like damn near empty <laughs> and I have the money for food. I just, I've been just sick. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'll just eat a bowl of Frosted Flakes and sit here and watch YouTube. Oh, okay, it's 8 p.m. All right, well, is this depression right here or is this anxiety? <laughs> like, I just, I'm an outside person. I love the sun. I love being out. I love exploring. I'll be isolated and then I'm mad I'm isolated and then it's like opportunities present themselves and I'm just not sure like there's been this weird heavy cloak of anxiety and depression and I also feel myself getting angry towards a force I cannot pinpoint and that's not me either so we're gonna go to the gym and release whatever emotions these are because I don't like them I don't like them also, we're gonna go to the beauty supply store. So I've gotten to a point, I think I finally realized it. I will not get ready for other people, but when I need to get ready for myself to feel good, then I'll be mad if I'm not ready. <laughs> so me in the comfort, I've been doing my shows like this, by the way, I've done like three, four, five shows. The last shows I've done in the bonnet, I hop up on live on the bonnet with the glasses, all of it, like, and I, I can look so much prettier in accordance to whatever society deems beautiful. I could do so much more, but I'm so comfortable in this state. But it's when I get too comfortable that I start feeling chaotic because I'm like, no, because how are you feeling checking in on myself? I can't explain it. I can't explain it. But I know right now if I go to the hair store and do my hair, I'll be feeling myself even more. And I think I'll be a little more motivated to push myself to get out there. So like I said, I'm going to show up however I show up. I'm going to always be comfortable. But because I'm feeling this way, I'm going to go ahead and do the whole like bad transformation. I'm going to record a couple reels with my colored wigs because I miss colored wigs. I'm about to start pulling those out again. But I'm actually going to crochet some locks. So I'm about to get ready real quick and go to the beauty store, get my lock material so I can try locks for the first time. Go to the gym, get a good workout in, and then go pick up some slight groceries and come back and see how I feel and jump right back into it. Thank you, Diara. Seriously, like she's on another level. She is the epitome of black girl magic, okay? And I wish nothing but the best for her. Like she deserves everything. Oh, and I know she's been on this grind since she was like, I believe a teenager as well. So very relatable content right now she definitely woke me up and jump started me today because i just i wasn't here i'm not gonna lie i haven't been here i've been in a weird place my partner was gone i know like we still had each other but like he was gone out the picture doing his training and stuff which i'm proud of and then i was back home after vacation trying to like uh adjust <laughs> and still be grateful and then i found myself throwing myself into my work and then i was unhappy with that because i was like well no because you could play with your pussy all day but you're supposed to be writing i find myself not being content with the current activity often and i wonder if that's also anxiety i don't like it I'll be live and then suddenly I don't want to be live cam anymore. I will go do a show and then that's, I'm glad this show to be short. I only do like five or 10 minute shows. I'll do a show and then I'll want the show to be over. Like not during the show, during the show I'll be feeling it. But afterwards I'm like, well, you over here doing shows, you should have been writing and querying like, <laughs> 
<laughs> and in reality, I need to look at it like, girl, you had a great day. You did so well. Like, I need to just start patting myself on the back and be like, you did a good job. Like, I had one of my people, they were like, yo, like, you are constantly doing some shit. Like, he's like on all platforms, IG, YouTube, Twitter, like, you're active. Your energy it goes insane. I was like, thank you. I feel like shit right now. <laughs> I didn't say that when I was sitting here. I was like, damn. I'm like, I'm, we are really our own worst critics. I was like, I'm over here. And I don't always have that. I'll be so proud of myself and feel so good. But I think I just put too much pressure on myself. That's all it is. Let me get up and go to the gym. And um, just see how I feel at the gym. And I'm going to get something slight. Because like I said, no groceries right now. Um, watching deer on the big screen. Like, I'm motivated. I'm motivated. For real, for real. So... <laughs> I can only imagine once I get my bag up where I want it to be and I could travel with whoever I want to travel with and hopefully one day I could travel with my guy too like I can only imagine what those trips are about to be like but I think that's the beauty in life too finding bliss in the moment that you're in because like I've said before many people I wanted to be here so bad remember I was oh my gosh I just need the place I need the place now I got the place and I'm sitting here and I'm like but I want to go <laughs> like I think I'm just restless. I have such a restless spirit sometimes. And I think I just have to sit and be like, no, this is okay. It's so ironic because I was watching the movie Soul and I was crying because it was sending this message of like, live your life every day, experience even the little things. And then I literally watched that movie. <laughs> and right after I just laid in bed and like hopped on the switch and I was like, all right, what am I going to watch next? Like the message pinged off my head and did not penetrate whatsoever. <laughs> I heard it, I processed it, I was in awe, I was admiring it, and then I was like, all right, back to my little, ugh. <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna go outside today, I'm gonna go outside. I feel like Spongebob with the penny, the chip, the tissue right now, like, I don't know what, what's going on. I feel like I'm always waiting or bracing for something instead of just being in this fucking moment, or I'm always trying to plan ahead, or I'm the type of person I need something to look forward to too. So I think that's where that comes from. But let me get ready. Let me get ready. Let's go to the beauty store. Okay, let's do some locks. I just ordered some shampoo and conditioner. So we're going to do that. And we're going to see if that jump starts how we're feeling. And then after that, I'm going to get into the spring vlogs. I have some really good ideas for things. So yeah, I'll probably stay local for a little bit. Set up my house, set up my home. So that way it's always here and there's some type of stability. And then probably start running around again, like sometime in summer or fall. Um... I think, yeah, and I just need to get organized too. I think I'm stressed out because my thoughts are all over the place. I have like a thousand notes in my phone, 10,000 pictures, trips I have not posted yet. So I just need to sit down and just be in the moment and handle the task at hand until it's done. I'm working on it. I think I'm getting better with it, but we still have work to do. So yeah, and I'd be so torn with what I want to do with just content, posting, how much I share. Anyways, thank you for watching and listening to my thoughts. I'm probably going to make this a recap. I feel like the videos I've been recording lately are all kind of in the same. And I'm not trying to come off that way. I'm just being real. With the spring vlogs, I think I'm just going to go ahead and just hop into some good energy like for myself for y'all because i don't want this to be part of the spring vlogs for real <laughs> so we're gonna make this like a little life recap but aside from that life's been good like i really just went on two back-to-back -back vacations just you know i just want to live i don't want to seem greedy i just want to keep living like maybe that's why i haven't touched sheer amounts of money yet or whatever it is i think there's work i need to do because i know if i had unlimited coin not unlimited but you know what i mean if i was rich i would stay traveling for real for real but i also think this is my like moment to be financially stable <laughs> and i'm learning those lessons because i've noticed i've been hesitating a little more on where i put my money so it's like i'm getting money but i want to make sure i'm putting it in the right place because i want to set myself up for success in the future too so I think sometimes that stress comes from like, oh my gosh, you're getting money, where to put it, what to do. There's so many things you can do at once, once you start touching more resources too. So it's just like, you know, do I sit and think about what I want to do? Do I just, I'm impulsive. That's another thing I realized I'm impulsive. So I used to just get whatever, I'll find a solution later. So I think like the side of me that's trying to be like, no, sit and think about it. And like, no, it, we're going for it. Take charge or like butting heads. <laughs> But I'm happy. I'm happy. And I have to realize how far I came. I came so far. I got myself out of a lot of toxic situations and now I'm back with myself. But that's where I was before I started my journey. I will always have my own back. And I think that's the beautiful part about it. I got myself out of toxic situations. I have gotten my own. 
Like I have to remember that I just I gotta start doing my gratitude every day too again. I've gotten my own. I've taken very risky paths in my life that I have just committed with and they're starting to pay off. Like uh, I'm here, I'm here. And I think the future is only up from, no, I'm sorry, I think. The future is only up from here. So I'm gonna wake the fuck up and go outside. It's like 90 degrees, what am I doing? I'm. Your brain is your biggest confidence block, all right? You know how there's blocks? Your brain's a confidence block sometimes. Your brain will be coming up with the insecurity. I know you are your brain, so it's really you at this point. Your brain will block your confidence, block your courage. You just gotta circumvent and, you know, navigate around it, so. <sighs> I'm going outside. All right, that's what I need. I need air. What's up, y'all? I have this handy dandy notebook here that I bought a while ago that I'm just now opening today. We love that. All right, I decided my brain is so busy, I need somewhere to put all of these ideas, and it's gonna be this book here. It's just blank paper, which is really inspiring. I'm not even being sarcastic, because the ideas that are about to fill it, oh my gosh, I'm really, really excited for. Thank y'all so much for watching. I know my thoughts be all over the place, but that being said, my point is, no, I do not wanna be an influencer. Yes, depression is real, and I think social media can sometimes make it worse, and I think it's really important to just find balance in your life, whether you inside or outside or online, whatever it is, just find your peace, baby, for real, for real.